Furigana. Furigana is most often written in hiragana, though katakana, alphabet letters or other kanji can also be used in certain special cases. In vertical text, tategaki, the furigana is placed to the right of the line of text, in horizontal text, yokigaki, it is placed above the line of text, as illustrated below. Or, these examples spell the word kanji, which is made up of two kanji characters, kan, written in hiragana as, and, g, written in hiragana as. Furigana may be added by character, in which case the furigana characters that correspond to a kanji are centered over that kanji, or by word or phrase, in which case the entire furigana word is centered over several kanji characters, even if the kanji do not represent equal shares of the kana needed to write them. The latter method is more common, especially since some words in Japanese have unique pronunciations, jukujakun, that are not related to readings off any of the characters the word is written with. Furigana fonts are generally sized so that two kana characters fit naturally over one kanji. When more kana are required, this is resolved either by adjusting the furigana by using a condensed font, narrowing the kana, or by adjusting the kanji by intercharacter spacing, adding spaces around the kanji. In case an isolated kanji character has a long reading, for example, where reads, Tazusa the furigana may instead spill over into the space next to the neighboring kana characters, without condensing or changing spacing. Three kana readings are not uncommon, particularly due to yun with a long vowel, such as, five kana are required for and, the longest of any character in the joyo kanji. Very long readings also occur for certain kanji or symbols which have a gay reiko reading. The word centimeter is generally written as cm, with two half-width characters, so occupying one space, and has the seven kana reading, senchimitaru, it can also be written as the kanji, though this is very rare. Another common example is percent, the percent sign, which has the five kana reading, pasento. These cause severe spacing problems due to length in these words being used as units, hence closely associated to the preceding figure. When it is necessary to distinguish between native Japanese kanyomi and Chinese-derived onyomi pronunciations, for example in kanji dictionaries, the Japanese pronunciations are written in hiragana, and the Chinese pronunciations are written in katakana. However, this distinction is really only important in dictionaries and other reference works. In ordinary prose, the script chosen will usually be hiragana. The one general exception to this is modern Chinese place names, personal names, and, occasionally, food names. These will often be written with kanji, and katakana used for the furigana. In more casual writing these are simply written in katakana, as borrowed words. Occasionally this style is also used for loan words from other languages, especially English. For example, the kanji, literally one horned beast, might be glossed with katakana, unicon, to show the pronunciation of the loan word unicorn, which is unrelated to the normal reading of the kanji. Generally, though, such loan words are just written in straight katakana. The distinction between regular kana and the smaller character forms, which are used in regular orthography to mark such things as gemination and palatalization, is often not made in furigana. For example, the usual hiragana spelling of the word, kyaka, is, but in furigana it might be written. This was especially common in old fashioned movable type printing when smaller fonts were not available. Nowadays, with computer based printing systems, this occurs less frequently. Various word processing or typesetting software programs, such as Microsoft Word, Adobe InDesign, Adobe InCopy, etc. have features for adding Ruby text, especially Japanese furigana. Among formatting features are different rules for aligning the kana over or to the right off base text, usually either when the base text string is longer than the furigana string or vice versa. Extra spaces may be needed depending on the size of shorter string, either the ruby string or the base string, relatively to the longer one. Furigana are most commonly used in works for children, who may not have sufficiently advanced reading skills to recognize the kanji, but can understand the word when written phonetically in hiragana. Because children learn hiragana before katakana, in books for very young children, there are hiragana furigana next to the katakana characters. It is common to use furigana on all kanji characters in works for young children. This is called in Japanese numeric characters used for counting, for example Nihon Two Long Things, Futatsum Second, Dainimaki Chapter 2, Nipaji Page 2, etc., are usually not tagged with furigana.
numeric words in established compounds, for example epo step, however, may be. Many children's, shonen and shoujo manga use furigana, however, rarely on numerals. Shonen and shoujo manga tend to have furigana for all non-numeric characters, while children's manga, such as Doraemon, may also ignore furigana on elementary grade kanji. Zainan and Jose manga ignores furigana most of the time, even on the names of the characters if they're common names. There are also books with a phonetic guide, mainly in hiragana but sometimes in romaji, for Japanese learners, which may be bilingual or Japanese only. These are popular with foreigners wishing to master Japanese faster and enjoy reading Japanese short stories, novels or articles. Furigana unrelated to the kanji they are assigned to are quite often used to convey certain effects, rather than to denote a phonetic guide, especially in manga, anime and games, card games, board games and video games all included. The specific types of effects vary. Furigana could be used to visually reinforce complex ideas without having to use long expressions, to annotate strange, foreign, rarely seen text, or simply for shorthand for base text abbreviation, thanks to the small type of furigana. For example, the word nightmare may be assigned with Shinjitsu truth rather than its true reading, Akumu, to convey the meaning of nightmarish truth. Some authors may even use furigana that means the opposite of what the base text does to reinforce an effect such as the complicated relationship between characters. For example, Shin you close friend may be tagged with Reibaru rival, to mean you're my rival, but also my friend, or conversely, Kodi Kishu eternal rival may be tagged with Tomo friend. Some manga make use of the furigana renditions of foreign words, especially obscure ones, as the intended reading of a term, and the more familiar kanji fourth meaning of such a term. For example, may be assigned with Buraku Majiku, the rendition of the English black magic, to convey a foreign, exotic feel, with Sitchan Station, with Hanuman Honeymoon. This is sometimes done conversely, for example, by using Kisu Kiss, the more familiar term, as Furigana to convey meaning, and Bez, the exotic term, as base text. For shorthand purposes, abbreviations such as may abuse to make the regular Kana spelling that is too long smaller type. Sometimes, Ruby text does not even serve as Furigana. But as mere glosses, meaning notes, for obscure terms, for example, Ryuriku lyric may be tagged with Kashi lyrics for clarification rather than for phonetic guidance. Due to the small type used for furigana, for maximum readability, some manga publishers may use regular kana instead of small kana. For example, Hasin may be spelled Hatsushin instead. Some websites and tools exist which provide a phonetic guide for Japanese web pages, in hiragana, romaji or kirji. These are popular with both Japanese children and foreign Japanese learners. In works aimed at adult Japanese speakers, furigana may be used on a word written in uncommon kanji. In the mass media, they are generally used on words containing non joyo kanji. Furigana commonly appear alongside kanji names and their romanizations on signs for railway stations, even if the pronunciation of the kanji is commonly known. Furigana also appear often on maps to show the pronunciation of unusual place names. Before the war, youths might arguably have been almost illiterate if not for furigana. Japanese names are usually written in kanji. Because there are many possible readings for kanji names, including special name-only readings called nanori, furigana are often used to give the readings of names. On Japanese official forms, where the name is to be written, there is always an adjacent column for the name to be written in furigana. Usually katakana is preferred. Furigana may also be used for foreign names written in kanji. Chinese and Korean names are the most common examples. Chinese names are usually pronounced with Japanese readings and the pronunciation written in hiragana, while Korean names are usually pronounced with Korean readings and the pronunciation written in katakana. Furigana may also be necessary in the rare case where names are transliterated into kanji from other languages, for example soccer star Roy Ramos and politician Marutai Tsurunim. Kanji and kanji compounds are often presented with furigana in Japanese language textbooks for non-native speakers. Furigana are also often used in foreign language textbooks for Japanese learners to indicate pronunciation. The words are written in the original foreign script, such as Hangul for Korean, and furigana is used to indicate the pronunciation. According to Ministry of Education guidelines, and the opinions of educators, 
The use of Japanese furigana should be avoided in English teaching due to the differences in pronunciation between English and Japanese. For instance, the word birthday might be glossed in furigana as basudito, which corresponds to an imperfect pronunciation. Some writers use furigana to represent slang pronunciations, particularly those that would become hard to understand without the kanji to provide their meaning. Another use is to write the kanji for something which had been previously referenced, but write furigana for or, meaning that. This means that the actual word used was that, but the kanji clarify for the reader what that refers to. Another way to use it is to tag, onto words or names for places, to convey something along the line of, for example, here, at this hospital, or here, in LA. In karaoke it is extremely common for furigana to be placed on the song lyrics. The song lyrics are often written in kanji pronounced quite differently from the furigana. The furigana version is used for pronunciation. Also, because the kanji represent meaning while the furigana represent sound, one can combine the two to create puns or indicate meanings of foreign words. One might write the kanji for a blue, but use katakana to write the pronunciation of the English word blue. This may be done, for example, in Japanese subtitles on foreign films, where it can help associate the written Japanese with the sounds actually being spoken by the actors, or it may be used in a translation of a work of fiction to enable the translator to preserve the original sound of a proper name, such as Firebolt in the Harry Potter series, in Furigana, while simultaneously indicating its meaning with kanji. A similar practice is used in native fiction to clarify extended meanings. For example, in a work of science fiction, some astronaut could use the word, for Usato, meaning my hometown, when referring to planet Earth. To clarify that for the reader, the word for Usato, hometown, might be written in hiragana over the kanji for Chikyu, Earth. Okuragana are kana that appear in line at normal size following kanji stems, typically to complete and to inflect adjectives and verbs. In this use, they may also help to disambiguate kanji with multiple readings, for example, agaru, versus, noburu. Unlike furigana, the use of okuragana is a mandatory part of the written language. In the written style known as kanbun, which is the Japanese approximation of classical Chinese, small marks called kanbun are sometimes added as reading aids. Unlike furigana, which indicate pronunciation, kanbun indicate Japanese grammatical structures absent from the kanbun, as well as showing how words should be reordered to fit Japanese sentence structure. Furigana are sometimes also used to indicate meaning, rather than pronunciation. Over the foreign text, smaller sized Japanese words, in kana or kanji, corresponding to the meaning of the foreign words, effectively translated in place. While rare now, some late 19th early 20th century authors as kanji as furigana for loan words written in katakana. This usage is called in Japanese, since furigana implies the use of kana. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.